Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about um, movie marketing. Um, it's not advancing. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. All right. So let me uh, give a brief uh, history of how a professor got into studying movies. Um, my uh, research is very similar to Burns, that we study brands, how <laughs> brands are encoded into memory, how brands are recalled from memory, how you build really strong brands. So when I did move to LA, I started uh, um, just kind of looking at the movie industry. And if you think about it, they are launching a brand every weekend. Right? That's what they do. And their brands are uh, very quick. You know on Friday nowadays whether a brand is going to be a success or a failure. And they also come with very big bets. So this weekend is Watchmen, uh, which I will see. <laughs> um, and Watchmen is a $200 million bet. Right? So, and they are going to know on Friday because the blogosphere will be buzzing with either positive reviews or negative reviews about that movie. Uh, so they will know the entire franchise value of that $200 million investment by Friday at midnight. So um, it's a very interesting industry to study brands and how brands can get created and really become part of our culture. Um, for movie marketing, there, there are lessons that we can learn about how to think about brands and how to transition brands from the analog world into the digital world. And um, there's many things that uh, Jeff, Daryl, and Max had said that I completely agree with that I think are also going to come out as uh, learnings uh, from uh, what I've studied in the movies. I'm going to concentrate on three. One is uh, this notion of uh, what Jeff and Daryl brought up about we no longer sell products. They're, everything's really a service. Right, so if you think about a movie, it's the movie brand, but it's also the experience around that brand. And I think in the branding space in the last 10 years, a lot of things have become confused. That we have uh, you know, brand values that we're trying to determine. We have brand for portfolios that we need to manage. There's also uh, probably one of the um, most influential innovations happened uh, in the last 10 years with Burns pioneering work on experiential marketing, so cr crafting that brand experience. But they don't always go together. Right? So the idea is to try and bring these together, whether you're a product or you're a service or you're an intangible good like a movie, try to make everything consistent with each other. And um, as we transition from the having complete control over the message to losing control over the message, the power of storytelling, I think, is an important lesson for us to all keep in mind that that's the one thing that we can control and manage. If we're going to talk about word of mouth, word of mouth needs to have some story. I'm doing research uh, right now on how does word of mouth spread, it, what influences people, is it a positive versus a negative message, is it somebody you know versus somebody who's a blogger, how do all of these factors influence word of mouth. And one thing that keeps coming back is the power of the story. Mm -hmm.